Now, hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're doing awesome, possum. Today, we're going to be checking out a really cool indie game called Lab 7 Cold Nights. So this game is made by one dude by the name of Dave, who was kind enough to send me a free copy to check out, which is actually great because I was eyeballing this game for a while, and it looks really fun. So I have actually played about four hours of this game already. I played it through on uh, easy mode and beat it. And I've only played a couple minutes of normal mode because I figured I'd save that for you guys. So it's a zombie survival game where it basically relies on exploration in order to figure out how to play the game. And it relies on resource management and time management pretty heavily. It's got RPG elements where you can level up your guns and level up uh, defensive turrets and walls and stuff like that. But anyway, without further ado, how about we start a new game on normal mode and I'll play through that with you fellas. And I will try to explain the game a bit as I go through it because it is a little confusing at first. It took me about an hour until I really knew what I was doing. Alright, day one. What's that sound? Where am I? And how did I get here? Alright, so we've awoken in our dark little room. We don't know where we are. There's a door right here. It says negative 250. So I'm going to go ahead and explain that for you guys right now. That negative 250 is how much energy it's going to cost to open that door. Because this facility is running low on power. So if you look in the top left corner, it says light, security, and elevator. Those are three different power sources that are separate from each other. And every time that you use an object, like a door or an elevator or something like that, it's going to drain power relative to what it is. Like, this will probably drain security power, and the elevator obviously is elevator power. And light is how, uh, how much power the lights in the facility have. So we're going to go ahead and use 250 security energy to get through this door. Alright, we're out in the hallway. So this is a Beretta 9mm handgun in this wall locker. Looks like a Beretta. Since this appears to be an emergency, I should take it with me. You're damn right you should. It just slipped into my hand of its own accord. Alright, we're on day two, baby. So we got an elevator right here. Let's go ahead and call it for 100. What was that noise? It came from the left. Let's call that for 100 elevator energy. Alright, I'm not going to go in there quite yet. I'm going to go explore a little bit. So there is a help menu right at the beginning here. It kind of gives you a little bit of a rundown of what's going on. So there's a power generator in the basement that you can power up with money in order to give you a little bit of power each hour of the day. So it'll recharge your light and security and elevator power. And there's also a battery interface down at the basement as well where you can charge a battery which you can then take with you to power other objects. So, and it, it kind of explains, zombies spawn during the night and zombies will appear when an alarm goes off until it's turned off. Alright, I'd love to understand what I'm seeing here. Oh, we got some zombies! All right, coins are the currency of the game. Do not put them in the first available coin slot. Think carefully about your investment. For example, a good start would be to invest in weapons and a good power supply. All right, we reloaded. Reloading takes quite a while, although we, we can find upgrades so that we can reload a lot more quickly. All right, main objective right now, go to the basement and produce energy for the light, security, and elevator. Alright, so I'm going to open the elevator for 100 elevator energy. And here, this was a little confusing to me at first, how this is listed out. But you can see we're on, f we can go to floor 15, and then basically the goal is to work your way up to floor 0 so you can escape the facility. And on each floor, you need to fight your way through zombies so you can activate a circuit breaker to power up the floor above you so that you can work your way up and the zombies get more difficult each time and these uh one two these five floor numbers next to here are floors that you can always go to no matter what so that's why they they're always there even when you select 14 and 13 and whatnot so let's actually just go straight to 15 open the door for 100 elevator energy shoot the zombies in the face so as far as I can tell, your accuracy is a little bit better if you're closer to an enemy. The chance that you get a headshot is a little bit more likely. 
here's the breaker box. Whoa, baby! That almost got me. All right, the power connection to the floor above should be restored. Beautiful. All right, we got floor 14 powered up. Let's go head back. Let's go to floor 55. Actually, yeah, let's go to floor 55, because that is the one... Floor 55 is the one that has ammo, where you can spend coins to uh, resupply. And you can also spend coins to open lockers and stuff to find new items. So as you can see, there's lots of question marks around on stuff. But he said, I need more light. It's because if you look in the top left where it says how much light energy it uh, there is, there's not enough light output in the facility for your character to be able to see objects in the world. So let's go, let's go take the stairs down to the basement. And this is where the generators are at. So you can put coins into the generators to give you power every hour of the day. So the light starts with 10, so it gives you 10 energy every every hour for the light. Let's go do a little bit more of that. I generally like to increase the light output so that I can get my light at maximum as early as I can. So then my character can see objects in the world because it's not dark it because it's not too dark then. We can also do security. Security is an important one because the security door for the armory, where you can get new guns and stuff, uh, costs like 500 security power every time you open it. So that's 500 to open the door to go in and 500, 500 to open the door to go out. Alright, it's nighttime. We got some music rocking and rolling. That means there's going to be some zombies coming. So I'm just going to wait here for them. So yeah, if you hold the left mouse button in this game, you can see how many coins you have. It kind of gives you a rough idea. I wish it would actually give you a number. And uh, you can see we're eventually going to get turrets. And we're going to get walls. And we start out with one pill uh, of each type. So we have a pill that increases our headshot percentage chance. One that will heal our health. Ooh, we got a zombie. And we start out with a pill that increases our speed so we can run past zombies. Suck it, dude! Get domed, sucker. And you can check your watch to see what time of day it is. It's 1.32 a.m. The zombies usually stop coming around like 5 or 6 in the morning. Unless you kill them all like super quickly. And the zombies always start coming at around midnight. Because that's when the new day technically starts. It's kind of a little hard to see how much ammo you have because the numbers are so close to each other, but currently we have 15 rounds in our magazine and 30 extra rounds besides that. What time of day is it? 7.13, so they're probably going to stop here pretty soon. Here, let's put a few more coins. Oh yeah, and you always get, uh, you always get a few coins every day as well down at the generator, so you always want to check that. Let's go put some more coins into the light. Do a few coins into the elevator as well, just so we get a little bit of a little bit of energy for that. Let's go up to 50. All right, so we're gonna get 50 light power every hour. See, and there's an object on this uh, electrical unit, but my character can't see it because I don't have quite enough light. Uh, same thing with that box. I believe that's a turret that you can set down, so that's why it's so important to be able to get light, so you can actually pick up objects that are useful. All right, so let's let's go explore a little bit more, shall we? Let's go up up the stairs here. Uh, I got a decent amount of. Oh, we we can do a defensive tower T18. It's a turret. Let's go ahead and put that down right now. Oh, that's a bad spot, actually. Let's pick it up. Let's put it right near the door. And then we will readjust it a little bit later. Alright, let's go in the armory. Armory, and I'll just kind of show you guys what that jazz is all about. Alright, we're in the armory. So you can upgrade turrets right here. You get three different types of turrets eventually in the game. There's a workbench where you can buy improved tools which are required to uh, upgrade items. 
You can buy different guns here as well. Uh, I don't know if we have 20 bucks. Maybe. Let's see. We do. All right, so we got a carabiner. It's a rifle. And as you can see, if you look on the top left where it shows my weapons, you can see that um, it shows stats on them. So I've actually leveled up my guns quite a bit. So that's one thing that carries over every time you die is you can level up your guns and they keep their level so they do more damage. Which actually helps out a lot. It makes the game so much easier the, the more that you play through it. Alright, so as you can see, the spooky music started to play. And the facility has a dim blue lighting. That means it's nighttime. It is 2.27 in the morning. Alright, so we have a small level 1 turret here. It's not going to do much damage. It's kind of useless until you upgrade it. But uh, we'll see how it does. It'll help us out a little bit. Hopefully save a little bit of ammunition. Surprised I haven't seen any bad hombres yet. It's already 2.49. 249 in the morning. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, that uh, that turret does not do much damage when it's at level 1. It only does 20 damage. And it fires very slowly. Get domed, fools! And we're getting coins from all these suckas. I love it. Alright, I have a decent amount of uh, ammunition still. So the nice thing about this rifle that I have that's upgraded to level- Whoa, it's funny, uh, my Beretta and my Carabiner are both level 74. That's kind of random. But uh, the nice thing about the rifle is it can shoot through multiple enemies. I think it has like- I think it can shoot like up to five enemies at a time, something like that. Okay, it's still too dim in here to see all these things. That's why there's question marks everywhere. If you look on the top left, it says our light power output is at green, so it's it's getting there. It's taking a little while, though. What do you say we go to the next floor? All right, so we can go over, go up to level 14. Open the door for 100 elevator energy. Let's go shoot some suckers with the rifle. See, look at that. Two dead bodies right there. Oh, beautiful, baby. You want some of this? Huh? All right, we gotta reload. And obviously, this is pretty easy because I'm still early on. But once I get later in the days, there's gonna be more and more enemies. Boom, baby. The brains, they're everywhere. All right, we got a defensive tower, a T8. Open the breaker box, turn it on. The power connection to the floor above should be restored. See, if I didn't have enough light, I would not have been able to pick that tower up. So that's why it's always important to get enough uh, energy for your lights. All right, let's go. Let's go back to level 55, the one with the armory, where you can uh, resupply your ammunition. Our elevator energy is super low right now. I gotta be careful because if you run out of energy for any of those, the alarm will start to sound off. Oh, we, we got a guns manual. It says reload speed has been increased. Beautiful. But anyway, as I was saying, if, uh, if the alarm goes off, then zombies will come nonstop until you turn the alarm off. And the only way to turn the alarm off is to go all the way in the basement, like all the way to the left. So it's quite a distance. All right, let's go reload for five coins. Luckily, ammunition is pretty cheap. All right, guys, day five. Is this just a bad dream? I should stop playing all these video games. All right, we got another turret. Go ahead and put it down, shall we? All right, it's just another one of those little baby ones. 
I have plenty of ammunition though since I just reloaded. So we got 15 in the gun and 60 extra for the pistol. And we have a total of 30 rounds for the carabiner rifle. Let's get some good stretches in, you know. You gotta get ready for some zombie slaying. It's always good to stretch those muscles, you know. <laughs> What's he doing with his hand? Oh, I didn't even kill one. Yeah, I, I really gotta upgrade those bad boys. See, there are quite a few more zombies than there were on the previous night. Look at all these coins though, baby. And yeah, normally if I was starting brand new, my weapons would not be doing this much damage. They do quite a bit because I've leveled them up quite a bit. Wait, is 74 the max? 74 might be the max level, which would explain why both my guns are at 74. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Uh, Alright, looks like night's over. Let's go down. How many coins do we have? Quite a few. All right, let's uh, put one more into the into the light generator. Our light's gonna be powered up here pretty quickly. Let's do a little bit for the elevator since that is running dangerously low. And I think each of these three generators maxes out at 300, if I remember correctly. Alright, we got a key card. It's a green key card with the inscription security staff. So here's where you turn the alarm off if it ever goes off. Or if it ever goes on, I guess, technically. Alright, we got a barricade. Might be a good barricade, I'll just grab it. Alright, this security locker, and pretty much every security locker always costs 30 coins. So I don't think I'm gonna do that quite yet. I'll do that a little bit later once I'm rolling in the dough. Man, listen to the little pitter patter of his of his naked feet on the floor. <laughs> All right, there should be a key card I can pick up here eventually that allows me to get into one of the oh, there's another barricade that allows me to get it into one of the lockers in the armory, which is really really useful. All right, let's put up a wall. There we go, and let's put one right there as well. All right, let's go explore a little bit. I, I really haven't shown you guys that much. All right, so this is sort of the scientific or like medical section of, of the facility. Once you get a battery and you charge it up, you can place a battery on one of these vending machines and these offer you pills. So like the blue one gives you the corresponding blue pill, which uh, heals your health. The yellow gives you the headshot one and the green gives you speed. Now, what time of day is it? I gotta be careful. Oh, it's 7.52. It's kind of late. So, as far as I can tell, there's really not a whole lot to do in here. There's a gun's manual. Reload speed increased. Beautiful. There are some lockers at the end here. That I don't want to spend points on just yet. There's a gun's manual. Reload speed increased again. I don't really know what's up with this curtain. He just says, I spy with my little eye. But I don't think there's anything secret back there, if, or if there is, I'm not really sure what it's all about. Anyway, what time of day is it? It's 11, okay, we gotta go down, it's really close to nighttime. And we got plenty of ammunition, we are ready to rock and roll, baby. He's like, come on man, just wake up, it's gotta be a bad dream. Alright, it's day six. All right, so now we got a we got a tiny little barricade, which should slow down the zombies for a little bit. Hopefully, my turrets can get at least one or two kills this time. <laughs> that would help out because I would prefer to avoid spending these five coins on ammunition as much as I can.
Oh god. Whoa. Boom, baby. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to test was, so on easy mode, whenever your barricades got destroyed, you could always replace them. But I don't know if that is a thing on normal difficulty. I, I need to check that out here in a sec. Once nighttime's over. It's 1.41 in the morning. It's still pretty early. Okay. Okay, I still have my barricades cool. So it's kind of weird, because once they destroy them, you can just replace them. I mean, I like that. But it is, but it is a little weird. It is a little weird. Alright, you know what? What do, what do you say we go... Open the door for 100 elevator energy. Use 300 energy to go to the next floor. Floor 13. We're slowly working our way up, baby. Gonna make it to the top. Oh, get dome, sucker! Okay, these guys in yellow are a little bit quicker and a little bit stronger. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Didn't even realize. Drop dead. One thing that's nice about the rifle is you can just fire and it'll just shoot straight down the hallway. Want some of this, boys? Boom, get domed. All right, breaker box activated. Power is restored to the floor above. And oftentimes it'll give you coins once you complete a breaker box. Yeah, it like leaves them like right near the, like right near the elevator. All right, uh, what do you say we do? We just go, let's just go back. Looks like our light is pretty much at max. We're at 4,858 out of 5,000. 4,918 now. So we should be able to pretty much see everything. So we got Ramos's key. So if you take the key, it says this must be the key to Ramos's locker. If you take the key and go in the armory, which costs 500 security energy every time, pretty expensive. If you go over here, there's a locker you can open. Ramos's locker, open it, spend 30 coins. And we're gonna get a pretty badass uniform. It says, I should be able to carry a bit more now. The fabric feels a lot sturdier too. So as far as I can tell, this allows you to run super fast. And you can run through enemies, like, really easily. At least most enemies. Okay, so we need to find a upgrade plan for our turret. Let's go, uh, what do you say we go downstairs and get some free coins for the day? Oh, I need to reload my ammo as well. I need to resupply. We also look really badass, right? Totally. All right. All right, let's go over here and what do you say we open this locker? For 30 coins. It is a plan to modify a turret named T-18. Beautiful. All right, so we don't have very many coins at the moment. We gotta be careful. You always gotta, you always gotta manage your coins. Let's go up and resupply our ammunition for five coins. Luckily, that's always really cheap. All right, we're at day seven. Man, there's so much more to this game that I still have to show you guys. For example, um, a couple floors above this, which I haven't really shown you guys yet, there is a secret door that will open in the wall uh, in the wall during the night that allows you to go and find a battery and some more uh, some more books that allow you to reload faster and stuff like that. But I will show you guys that in one of the future episodes. There's still so much to do. And there's also two other turret types you can get, which are really badass. One of them is like a rapid fire one, and one of them is a long range laser. It's really cool stuff. Yeah, give it a good old stretch. Oh yeah. 
About to murder some zombies. Gotta be limber, you know? Gotta be feeling good. Want some of this, boys? Oh, it's still coming. Nice, my turret actually killed that fool. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's resupply for five coins. What time of day is it? 3.09 in the morning. And let's open the elevator door. And let's go to level 12. Off we go! Alright, there's gonna be quite quite a few more zombies. Oh god, we got a big guy. So this guy's really fast and he takes a lot of hits. Usually, he just runs away as well, once you hurt him enough. He's calling me a crappy chicken. God, reload, 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 reload! Fudge! Get out of here, boy! Go on, get! Go on, get! <laughs> Whoa! Getting a little close there. Oh, God! Dropping them like flies, like shooting fish in a barrel. So as you guys have probably noticed, there's no aiming in this game. Like, there's no manual aiming. You just hold right click and your character aims by himself. Which is kind of nice, but a part of me kind of wishes that you had a little bit of aiming control. Alright, looks like we have a defensive tower. This one shoots lasers. I'm almost to the breaker box. They're pushing me back a little bit. Alright, let's reload. Alright, power connection to the floor above should be restored. Alright. It's goo. Back to level 55 with the ammunition and the armory. What time of day is it? 4.42 p.m. All right, so we got a tower, or a, sorry, a turret with lasers. Go ahead and put it behind these guys. Shoot them in the ass, you know? Let's go put our wall back down. There we go. Uh, we're pretty good on ammunition. We got quite a few coins. Let's go ahead and open this uh, emergency locker. Beautiful baby. Ooh, we got an upgrade plan for the carabiner. Go ahead and go in the armory. It's only 821, so we got a couple hours. Okay, we got to uh, purchase improved tools, which cost 20 bucks each time. That's pretty expensive. Oh, yeah. All right, we still need more tools. Then uh, it's going to take another 20 bucks. Yikes. All right, we can upgrade the carabiner. Beautiful. Carabiner is upgraded one time. We can upgrade the T-18 at least one time. We still need to find a upgrade plan for the T-24 laser one. Uh, we don't have that much money, so I'm going to go ahead, ahead and head back, and we'll wait for the, uh, the nightly wave here. All right, day eight, guys. I'm your worst nightmare, and not the other way around. Hell yeah, buddy. That's a spirit. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few guns in there. Uh, there's a BAR, 
There's a shotgun. There's a MP5. And there's like an STG-44, which is like a World War II weapon. So there's quite a few weapons I haven't used. I've used the MP5 a little bit. It's really not that great, uh, but it's probably better once you level it up. All right, let's see how this uh, let's see how this turret does. This laser one. It's only a level one, so it's not going to be that great. But it's better than nothing. Come on, bring it, fools. I like dancing to the music. Shoot him in the ass! Okay, not doing that great. <laughs> Let's dome him. I don't want to get too cocky. The moment you get cocky is, is the moment that you get overrun. Yeah, drop dead, suckers. Whoa! Let's let the laser at least get one kill. Come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I guess the laser can't shoot that far unless... Unless I upgrade it quite a bit. Alright, I think... I think that might be it. Let's go ahead and reload our ammunition. Only cost five bucks, so might as well. Alright guys, anyway, looks like we're past 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. In the next one, we're going to go explore more of the facility that I haven't shown you guys yet. And hopefully explore and find out a little bit more of the lore of the facility for you guys. Because currently, you guys have no idea what's going on. I mean, there's zombies. I woke up. It appears to be some sort of scientific test facility, but uh, let's figure it out together, shall we? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this first episode look at the game. It's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely looking forward to uh, what uh, what Dave does in the future for it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, a thumbs up and subscription would be mucho excelente. And I will see you fine folks in the next episode.